welcome to epg paathshala in this paper of english language teaching we are discussing the second language learner and society in this module students will come to know the role of society in the life of the second language learners how society just affects their learning how they are being influenced by the society's norms all this is there in this particular module this module deals with the second language learner how it examines historical current and developing understandings of the relationships between language learners and society in this module when i say society we means indian society because in india english is the second language and second language learners are there on completion of this module students should have increased knowledge and understanding of evolving views of language and learners in the field of language learning and teaching increased understanding of the social nature of language learning and the interactions between individual learners group of learners and society more broadly what are the objectives we must keep them in mind to develop awareness and understanding of the history of methods and approaches in language teaching through the lens of evolving views of language and learners to develop awareness and understanding of the complexity of language learning and language learning contexts to develop awareness and understanding of the social nature of language learning to develop students reflective awareness of their own language learning capacity society deals with language learning now what society has to do with language whether a child is speaking in english or hindi or german or french or sanskrit what society has to do with that what is the relationship of the language spoken language written and the social circumstances or the context yes we do have a relationship what is society for that matter society is a group of people around us who affect us and in turn being affected by our performance society contains those people who matter to us now when we speak something then society we speak to whom we speak to people people who are around us who is family who is friend and other than them society social so social norms they also affect which language we will take up it depends upon the society in which we live suppose india is a multilingual country we know that in different parts of india in indian society different languages are being spoken if i am in south and i can speak the very language like kannada and other then what will happen it will be easier for us to establish a different relationship with the people with the society around us in the same way if we are in maharashtra knowing marathi is an asset for you you are in gujarat then there the gujarati is there so it's just an example society is there that affects you that affects your language now as far as second language is concerned english as a second language all over india the position is same how first of all english as a second language is a language of prestige is the language of the educated class is the language when you express yourself in that particular language you get attention of the people i said social social prestige 
so when you want to get that you will have to learn the language and you will have to speak in that particular language you will have to communicate in that particular language almost everywhere you will find people in offices in colleges in every other field that they are communicating in english just to, they can talk in the particular language the native language even then they use the language the second language why because society is such so we we'll, in this module we are going to discuss many such things how and why society affects the second language learning what are the social aspects there are th three types of social structure socio linguistic setting specific social factors and situational factors when we talk about socio linguistic setting we just are concerned with the role of the second language in society why and how much and to what extent english is being spoken and being understood by people of course i can talk to my students in english because i know they are students who have taken english as a subject they can understand or they are supposed to understand but when i am talking to a rickshaw wala i know he cannot understand so i will not try i will come down to his standard to the language that he understands well and i will just communicate because my main area is main aim is to communicate if i say something he won't understand then my purpose won't be served so then at that time what society will say i am flaunting because i can speak so i'm just showing it show off so that is also the another aspect the social aspect it's a very good incident i would like to share i have just read somewhere a couplet it is in hindi of uh, two lines over there kabul gaye mulla ho gaye bole atpat bani aab aab kar pran nikal gaye pas dhara raha pani so what happened that you are there in a foreign country and you just asked because he was mulla so he wanted to speak that particular language and he said ab ab that is he wanted some water but he didn't say that particular word nobody could understand that he wanted water and so nobody gave him so he died because he could not get the water so that is the language that you should use the language according to the context according to the social situations so specific social factors they affect your learning of language of acquisition that is age gender social class ethnic identity and ethnic identity being the one that has received most research attention then there are situational factors those which vary between each social interaction for example learner may use more polite language when he is talking to someone of higher social status like a student is talking to his teacher but more informal language when talking with friends now we are discussing second language learning what is this language in second language learning we use language in our order to understand the world around us and in order for others to understand us the individual's language develops through cooperation and interaction with the world the word language is understood in different ways including language is a property of human being language as an institutional abstraction language as a collection of sentences language as a social behavior as knowledge in the mind and as a form of action we use language and we say that it is the human property but suppose i am talking to a parrot he is not a human being but do we use the language of the parrot no what language we use the language that belongs to us we expect the parrot to understand that language whether he understands that particular language or the sounds we don't know but we use that language 
and that is the beauty how we share our language with the society now what is the second in the second language learning we have discussed language and now the second second by official fiat when other languages are laid down as first by law it's different commonly second by chronological sequence in that the person learns it after the first it simply means that when you just uh, learn the mother tongue whatever it may be after that when you learn any foreign language or the second language properly then it is second language here in india we take english as the second language and mother tongue as the first language it may be second by priority if i know i am bilingual i know both the languages well i have equal command over both the languages so whatever language we feel it's a prioritized language we love to communicate in that particular language is the first language and the second language by choice is the second language so usually discussed in term of dominance second contrasted with foreign by function or by location suppose we go to some foreign land in germany or some other we know english also but there we try to speak french in france or german in germany then that becomes another language we try to learn that now second language learning we discuss second we discuss language now let us discuss learning what is learning in second language learning is the act of acquiring new or modifying and reinforcing existing knowledge behaviors skills values or preferences and may involve synthesizing different types of information unquote it is the definition you can find on wikipedia in general terms that learning or acquisition how different they are when we acquire something unknowingly out of our own will in the informal condition that is acquisition when we learn it in the formal condition go to the classroom hire a tutor get it from a teacher someone is teaching and we are consciously having that learning that comes under learning process so second language learning shows that learning of this language in a controlled atmosphere is required and it is quite prevalent in indian society who is second language learner every indian no we can't find that every person who is living in india is learning english as a second language but there is a particular number a good number of indians who are learning english as the second language educators use a number of terms when referring to english language learners including english learners like ells limited english proficient lep students non native english speakers language minority students and either bilingual students or emerging bilingual students english language learners or ells are students who are unable to communicate fluently or learn effectively in english who often come from non english speaking homes and backgrounds and who typically require specialized or modified instructions in both the english language and in their academic courses so when discussing the second language learner to make it more clear i will like to explain this there is one segment who is studying in english medium schools from the class 1 they are exposed to english language they cannot be termed as english language learners because somehow they are bilingual simultaneously they are learning both the languages but the student who has no exposure of english language at home consciously comes to college to school to coaching centers to learn particularly this language 
that shows he is not having complete control he is not having the command over the language so that is why basically in honest terminology he will be termed as the second language learner so whatever researches we are conducting whatever things we are doing they are in accordance with these people who have come forward to learn english for various purposes maybe academic because they want to pass out some exams they want to go for higher studies to usa or some other english speaking country so they want to have mastery over this particular language or because if they are doing law there is one paper legal english they want to just clear that they are studying that but the examples are so of so on so they are coming forward to learn that language and they are english language learners now second language acquisition theories are there but we are not discussing here the theories just concerned with various factors as you can see in this diagram that pronunciation listening speaking culture grammar vocabulary reading and writing all these factors are very very important for english language learners and the particular society in which they live now while learning this english language is it so easy that they come forward to learn and they learn it no it's not that easy they encounter certain problems what are those problems for english language learners let us just ponder on those issues think about deeply why these problems appear and how we can remove these problems the first problem is the language distance the distance between the native language and the target language first of all influences learners second language development then native language development he is learning his native language at that particular time effective program needs to use the student's prior knowledge as a basis for further development while at the same time being aware of the specific demands that a student's language history may place on second language learning if the instructor of the second language learner is not just using the native language is not guessing that how proficient the child is in his native language then it may create certain problems the third is lack of intrinsic motivation if somebody is forcing someone to learn that language if the motivation is not from within then this learning process will be slow this learning process will not be that effective according to desi and rian in 1985 out of his research he said that intrinsic motivation refers to the basic human needs for competence autonomy and relatedness intrinsically motivated activities are those that the learner engages in for their own sake because of their intrinsic value interest and challenge such activities present the best possible opportunities for learning to the student unfortunately the high school environment contains many external threats rewards and controls including an excessive focus on grades test and behavioral discipline all of which tend to undermine intrinsic motivation to the detriment of a student's progress that was said by con in 1993 fourth problem you may call dialect and registered differences dialect let us understand at the school social level learners may need to learn a dialect and a register in school which differ from the ones they are used to hearing in their daily life suppose a hindi speaking uh, person has different dialects because hindi has different dialects somebody uses avadhi bihari or any other dialect for that matter or khadi boli so they speak hindi in different dialects and when they they come together to speak english then what happens they speak english in that particular dialect we just love lalu yadav when he speaks english in his own way 
what is the dialect over there you can just differentiate the spoken english of modi ji or spoken english of lalu ji what is the difference between the two their knowledge we are not challenging but the dialect is different and the effect of dialect can be visualized very soon but for a common person when he comes forward to learn english language for the very first time this dialect means a lot and it creates the problems linguistic prestige the consideration of dialects naturally leads us think about the relationship between the students first and second languages the relative prestige of the two languages and their related cultural and ethnic associations they may have to give up on their own background in order to join the more prestigious target society now understand this thing a person he has visited some foreign country like he has visited london and coming for the first time to his native place maybe he is from a rural background or not doesn't matter and then the dialect he used to speak over there when he comes and he speak oh hi how are you what are you doing so people over there at once they will start ridiculing him at once they will start saying that he is showing off and that will not be the particular acceptance of the society as far as the other english speaking persons are concerned because he is different so it depends a lot on the social conditioning when the linguistic prestige is concerned next point is the rural background english language learners may face a variety of challenges that could adversely affect their learning process and academic achievements such as poverty familial transiency or non citizenship status to name just a few the problems of english language learners are manifold and one that hampers their development may be having different goals and ambitions now it depends upon the person to person what he wants why he is learning english language what are his personal goals or ambitions learners goals may determine the way in which he or she will use the language being learned how native like the pronunciation will be how elaborate in lexical and grammatical terms utterances will be and how much energy will be expended in efforts to understand messages in the target language for example we may take the persons one who is there in the aviation industry and the one who wants to become a chef both want to learn english but their terminology will be different their attention towards the vocabulary will be different one who is going to join hospitality industry will learn english in a different way his pronunciation his uh, intonation his rising and falling sounds will have a different connotations so it depends upon the goal and the ambition of the learner how he learns then peer group effect that is another factor that affects the learning of the second language ultimately society what is this peer group of course a small segment of the society the immediate society that you can call that with whom you will speak english you want to speak with your peer group you want to excel why because you want to have a standing in your peer group if you are speaking for the social cause then you want to gain some respect by speaking that particular language if in your peer group you feel that all are well versed with the language you also want to be that competent if you feel that nobody can speak then you want to flaunt then there are certain things how the peer group affects your learning process teenagers they tend to be heavily influenced by their peer group and in second language learning peer pressure often undermines the goals parents and teachers set in terms of proficiency and attainment 
in english as a second language speaking like a native speaker may unconsciously be regarded as a sign of no longer belonging to the peer group and may lead to the rejection that home support most of the time that we spend at home with the people our family members are there and whether they are supporting us or not in the endeavor of speaking english or acquiring the second language it depends a lot whether we get the atmosphere to practice with them or they are in the position to just guide us in removing our errors or not that is also important home support is very important for a successful second language learner although as we saw before this support may be present in non interventionist ways as said by bachu in 1985 and consequently misunderstood by school personnel furthermore it is sometimes believed that such support should take the form of speaking the second language in the home like recommendations made in some studies but it is far more important for the parents to value both the native and the second language to communicate in whichever language is most convenient and show support for an interest in the student's progress as far as home support is concerned as a teacher every time i feel at the time of admission when parents they come with their words for getting them admitted in ma english and if the child is not just capable enough we try to deny the admission and then the explanation we get is for girls because it will help them in their marriage if they are doing ma in english and for boys that it will be better for job opportunity so that is the reason why at home the parents they come forward that their ward should join some english courses role models in addition to the previously mentioned social factors it is important for the students to have positive and genuine role models who symbolize the value of bilingualism that is the acquisition of a second language without parallel loss of the first language the complexity of the second language classroom is manifold the mixed ability students when they are there with the teacher and the teacher teaches the same content in the same manner to all of them it depends upon how capable they are in retaining and getting that course now many children who are english language learners are put into english speaking classrooms where they understand nothing of what they are hearing because it is just the hearing they won't be able to understand anything teacher understands instantly by seeing their blank faces in this sink or swim situation many flounder either understand try to understand or totally just be away from the situation imagine traveling to beijing and taking a social studies course taught only in mandarin learning would be the most difficult part yet we expect our ells to automatically decode english and succeed academically in an analogous situation this idea of the more english the better is fallacious and can actually slow down children's learning considerably not only of this particular language but also other things being taught in that particular language Thomas and Collier in 1998 stated that the average native English speaker gains about 10 months of academic growth in one 10 month academic year. Now that silent period that many researchers have recommended that every ELL must get that is not being given to them. The time should be given to them that they should just perceive the process of learning they should just have the feel of the english language they should hear first they should train their ears to hear the language and then try to speak or to write now question comes in such a social situation how do learners acquire the second language 
learners they acquire a second language by making use of existing knowledge of the native language general learning strategies or universal proprieties of language to internalize knowledge of the second language these processes serve as a means by which the learner constructs an interlanguage communication strategies are employed by the learner to make use of existing knowledge to cope with communication difficulties social and cultural dimensions of second language learning and teaching are to be taken care of language attitudes in the learner the peer group the school the neighborhood and society at large can have an enormous effect on the second language learning process both positive and negative in particular they need to understand that learning a second language does not mean giving up one's first language or dialect what happens in the uttar pradesh that whenever you speak in english most often you hear from the people who cannot converse a different phrase angrez chale gaye angreziyat chhod gaye now what do you mean by that if you can speak in english it doesn't mean that you don't know hindi or you cannot speak in hindi but they are not ready to accept it and anyhow some voices are raised that english should be banished english should not be compulsory they don't understand that it's a link language a global language and they must accept it as a second language because there are many social benefits of learning english as a second language accordingly the new perspective of language acquisition is less concerned with the learning process as an individual development and more concerned with the learning process as a socializing one where the learner gains cultural competence which enables him or her to participate in society now there are some common misconceptions regarding learning english misconception number 1 learning english as quickly as possible should be the first priority for students no education is not equivalent to learning english a person who is well versed in english is not necessarily an educated or a brainy person it's a myth second if students can converse in english they can handle mainstream courses taught in english no it's just the manner it's not the matter content may be different if whatever subject you are dealing with you must be well aware of that content english is just a language in which that matter is being carried on third that native language is a crutch that impedes a student's progress in english it depends the way english is being taught if you are using grammar translation method the native language helps you it depends entirely upon the method in which you are being taught next misconception is that all adolescent immigrants can progress at the same rate in learning english it is again myth then the students academic progress depends solely on individual motivation no not at all it depends upon various factors that we have already discussed in this module to sum up we understand that the module has focused on the second language acquisition process from the perspective of the language from the perspective of the learner and the learning process as well it is important to point out that the larger social and cultural context of second language development have a tremendous impact on second language learning the status of student ethnic groups in relation to the larger culture can help or hinder the acquisition of the language of mainstream society now just take english as a language that you require for development take english as a link language don't think that learning this language can impede in any way your cultural background or it can hamper your cultural growth keep learning Thank you for visiting EPG Pathshala